Hello, and thank you for choosing Revive Node. Today, we'll be taking a look how to install a single mod properly. For newcomers, this may be difficult as there aren't a ton of tutorials out there for how to set up mods. For this case, I will be using Minecraft 1.19.2 Fabric. Now it is important that you know the difference between a fabric mod and a forge mod. And if you ever need to install any of the versions, you can click on a version changer and then either click on forge or fabric and just install the version you want. For this case, I'll show a few examples. If we head over to Curse Forge, you can see a large array of different mods. Make sure you click on mods and not mod packs as those are two separate resources. And here you can even select what Java version, what Minecraft version, and even if it's Forge or Fabric. You can select the popularity or even just look up a mod separately. Looking for every single mod, it could be very overwhelming not knowing what, seeing exactly what is on screen. For this, I have a few examples you just need to watch out for the following. If it is a client side mod, such as Xavier's minimap, and typically you can ask the question, do I need this on a server? Yes or no. For example, minimap, you don't require that to be added to the actual server. Sometimes they'll specify it on the website, sometimes they'll not. Typically, some developers coded it well that you can add it to the server and it won't cause any problems, but in rare cases, it isn't coded well and could cause the server to completely crash if not installed properly. Be aware that sometimes there could be client-sided mods and server-sided mods. This one, for example, is only a client-side mod. Then we have another good example, which is a server-side mod. This one adds blocks and entities into the world, meaning it's going to be required on the server side. And our final and last example here is Mod Menu, for example. Mod Menu is a client-sided mod, but the only reason I'm showing this is because sometimes when downloading mods, you are going to require to add additional mods to it, as they are dependencies. So if I were to download Mod Menu, I will first need to have Fabric, and second, I would need Fabric API. So I would require to download Fabric API to run a fabric mod and this is only the client but it can also transfer over to servers i'm actually going to go ahead and download the twilight forest for that i can go ahead and click on download and that will download the most recent version but if i'm running any specific version of minecraft i need to go into files scroll down and here you'll see different versions that are allowed for for the mod for 1.17 18 1.4 1.6.4 and anything that the developer has created but since we are running Fabric 1.19.2, I need to ensure that I download the correct version. So under game version, I can just go ahead and download 1.19.2 and I can just click the download file. After five seconds, you will receive the jar. And for that, we can go back into our server. We can go into file manager and then we can actually stop the server and we can go into mods. In here, we can drag and drop the mod we just downloaded. After that, I can exit out of here and then I can actually start up a server. And there you have it. That's really all it takes to download and install a single mod onto your Minecraft server. Hopefully this video was informative enough on the basics of how to install single mod. If you'd like to see any other type of content, please let us know in the comment section. Other than that, thank you for choosing Revive Node and we hope you have an amazing day.